to lesson number four of the 4-H Country Ham Project. Today we're going to be talking about the external parts of swine. It's important to know the words used by swine producers. When you know the correct terms and use the right words, other people who own swine will be able to understand you and we're all on the same page. The parts of a pig's body have special names. Some parts have the same names as the meat products produced from them. For example, the upper hind leg of a pig back here is called the ham. And of course, that's the ham that we eat. Let's go over some basic swine terms. And there will be a quiz at the end of our lesson today, so pay close attention. Swine is the word we use when we're talking about pigs or hogs. A pig, however, is a young swine. A hog is swine weighing over 120 pounds, so a hog is bigger than a pig. And a sow is a female pig that has given birth to a litter of piglets. And a gilt is a female pig that has not given birth. So a gilt is probably younger than a sow. The birthing of pigs is called farrowing. And we call all of the pigs born to the same mother at the same time a litter of piglets. A boar is a male breeding hog. And a barrow is a male pig that has been castrated before reaching breeding age. So it's not able to breed and have piglets. Let's go over the external parts of our hog now that we have some general ideas of what a pig and a hog, a gilt and a sow and a barrow and all of those terms are as well. The face, of course, is the front part of the pig where the eyes are located. The snout is the nose. It's used for smelling, rooting, and rooting is digging in the ground, usually for food, moving things around, uh, and eating. The size and length of the snout can be different depending on the breed of swine. The jowl is the fatty area from the neck to under the neck, and the chest is the flat area below the jowl and before the front legs. Moving down from the face, we have the forearm. This is the upper part of the front legs located above the knee and is the thickest part of the foreleg before entering the chest. The knee is the joint on the front leg that bends the hoof backwards towards the belly. The cannon bone is the supporting bone of the lower leg. It's similar to the metacarpus of our hands, kind of like um, our wrist that is able to bend back and forth. It allows that hoof to move a little more. Moving on is the feet or toes. These are four hooves, each with two fleshy digits. Digits are kind of like fingers with hard nails on each foot that sometimes need to be trimmed. The dew claw are the two small toes behind each hoof. These can help hold the pastern and should be trimmed if needed. The pastern is the shock absorber of your pig's foot. The pastern may fall due to injury, obesity, or arthritis, and pigs may start walking on this part that should be above the toes. Next, we're moving up to the, the body of the pig. The foreflank is the front side of the ribs. The fore rib, going up the side here, is the front portion of the ribs. The side, of course, is the smooth outer side of the pig, and the belly is the underside of the pig. The underline is where the teats are located on females. The sheath is only found in males and it protects the male reproductive parts. And the rear flank is located between the ribs and the stifle. Moving to the rear of our swine, the hock is the ankle part of the foot that bends the hoof towards the belly. And you definitely got up close and personal with the hock as you were curing your country ham. The stifle is the true knee joint on the back leg of a four-legged animal. The stifle muscle is used to move the pig's rear legs. This is the joint, of course, that can cause our hams to spoil because it's so deep into our ham. That's why we have to trim around the hock so that we can get that cured down in there and it can penetrate all the way to the stifle joint and the stifle muscle. The seam is the line of skin separating the two ham sections. And then at the very rear, you'll find the scrotum in male and the vulva in females. And these are the reproductive organs of our pigs. And of course, the upper section here is the ham. That's the upper hind leg, cut of meat located below the tail and above the hock. And we're gonna finish up with our top part of our swine. The tail is of course easy to spot. However, the size and placement varies from breed to breed and pig to pig. The rump is the hind part or butt where the body and legs join. The hip is where the ham and loin come together. And of course, you've probably heard of the loin before. These are the muscles on either side of the spine, and that's where we get our pork tenderloins. The back is the area between the shoulders and the rump. The shoulder is the area on both sides of the pig from the top of the spine to the top of the legs. 
and the neck is the fleshy area behind the ears going all the way to the shoulders. The next slide in our lesson is an online matching game that will hopefully help you remember some of these parts. It took me three tries to get them all matched correctly in under five minutes. Can you beat my time? Let me know if you do.